Hey there everybody, welcome back to my E3 coverage and now we move on to two games because there's not enough content to make one video out of them. It's going to be Dishonored 2 and The Elder Scrolls Online. So let's begin by looking at the footage for both of them. In Dishonored 2, the Empire of the Isles is in jeopardy once more when an otherworldly usurper seizes the throne. You'll travel to Karnaka, a once dazzling coastal city on the southern edge of the world, and hunt down new adversaries as you alter the fate of the Empire. This time, you have the choice to play as Corvo Itano or Emily Caldwin, a new character. Both have their own unique sets of powers, their own weapons and gadgets. And of course, you can combine these things creatively to eliminate your targets as you see fit. You can play with weapons drawn, or you can play the entire game without killing anyone. We'll tell you more as soon as we can, but what we're here tonight to say is that Dishonored 2 is coming, and will be available for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Thank you so much. can I say? I love games and I, every... There we have it! So we will quickly skim over the Elder Scrolls Online because there isn't that much to say. All they really said was there's going to be those new places which you saw and they are going to fix a lot of the problems that it had initially at launch. Like, apparently there's going to be better instancing so you'll only see yourself and the friends you're playing with and maybe a few 
of the random other players in the world. You won't see millions upon millions. So it's nice to see that they're updating it with better instancing. They're going to add a couple of more places to make Tamriel not feel as barren. More missions. That's about it. I kind of really want to look at Elder Scrolls Online. After its initial launch, it's still not there yet. But that's just a little update and we'll see how better instance and goes and if it's good hey maybe we'll buy it but hey let's move on to the main event of this video which is Dishonored 2 first of all I don't remember Dishonored looking that cartoony it looks the way that that guy and that girl looked when they first met each other and he was talking to her saying I know who you really are they look very Borderlands style like the heavily shaded bit on the side of that guy's face Reminds me a lot of Borderlands, and I thought the first one, if I remember, I played the first one, I didn't rate it that highly, but didn't the first one look more realistic than this? I'm pretty sure it did, and this goes for a more Borderlands 2 aspect, so rather interesting change on the graphical style there. Well, that's not to say the graphical style looks bad. I love Borderlands. Borderlands graphical style is pretty damn good, and for what they have created here, it looks pretty damn good. Um, I do, I'm interested to see these powers, I mean, there's not much to go on, this is why I've got to knock a lot of points off, because they're like, oh, buy it, it's going to be great, and it's like, it's just a pre-rendered cutscene guy, I, ca I can't make a purchase of nothing but a cutscene, because your cutscenes might be good, but your gameplay might be absolute crap, because the gameplay wasn't that good in the original, and I personally didn't like the original, and I know a few people that didn't like the original it certainly seems you fixed all the problems with the original like that power that that girl has like to to slow down time and turn into a shadow that seems like a pretty interesting mechanic if that's how it works in game and i would love to actually see that mechanic in motion in action but again it's, it's just a cutscene it's just a pre-rendered cutscene you've shown off a lot of interesting features like the, the slowing down time and turning into a shadow to manipulate the world around you and do all of this stuff but you need more guys you need more you've got me interested in your product but you need more than that so you know that's all I can really say that's why I kind of messed these two videos into one video because it's just a little bit of an update and it's just a cutscene there's no gameplay to go on so Elder Scrolls we'll see how the updates unfurl it's on a two it looks better. I think that the Borderlands art style looks a lot better than that realistic style that they were going for in the first one. So, I like the new art direction they're taking. I like the setting like this. Um, I always do enjoy the steampunk era where it's Victorian London or I think this takes place in France from what it looks like. Where they can just pull a lever and all these gears whir and shift and contort mansions around you. It, sort of in a way reminds me of Albino Lullaby in the way the mansion like contorts around you when you pull levers and all these gears activate well, it's just a cutscene so your cutscene looks great I like your new art style your gameplay mechanics are like turning into this shadow thing and running along closing walls looks really interesting oh, we need to see more so hopefully that gets shown off either later on this year or at next D3 but you got me interested in it and um, that's about all we can say on those two there's, there's nothing else to really go on there so we'll end the video and in the next video of the E3 coverage you know what's coming the big ones coming so thank you all for watching this very brief E3 video on Dishonored 2 and the Elder Scrolls Online Oh, excuse me, I got a hiccup. But if you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like. If you're enjoying all of the E3 coverage that we're presenting to you, feel free to subscribe because there is more on the way. And I'll see all of you in Bethesda's next big game.